Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Let's crack it. So today we are going to solve Wipro coding questions which were asked in the latest slot. So before that, if you are not a subscriber yet, subscribe to our channel. And if you are new to our channel, refer to a different playlist on our channel which uh, where we have uploaded several videos which will be useful to you to crack placement like TCS, Infosys, Accenture, Cognizant and Wipro. So complete placement preparation videos will be uploaded in our channel. And now let's start coding our first question like uh, this is about the dna mutant score if you observe like uh, read the question it's all about like input content space separated dna samples and followed by the count of dna samples to be combined to form a new mutant so our out output should print like space separated string of new dna mutants now let me give you more clarity by observing the example one so if you observe like first input will be the length or count of samples like if you give four there are four four samples are given in the second line like a b c b d e and f g so the, uh, these are the dna samples these are the four dna samples and then the next line contains count to be combined like uh, it means two like uh, two means that like two of these dna samples should be combined to get a new dna sample like if you observe here clearly two a b and c, uh, c b are the two dna samples and d e and f g are the two, two dna samples like a b c b is combined and this is called the one mutant or new structure of the dna and d e and f g formed a new mutant so now finally the output contained two dna mutants from four samples of dna and definitely you will get uh, more clarity so here comes example two so those who are still in the confusion definitely you guys will get more clarity after this uh, example like if you observe the input like six uh, total length of the samples or count of samples if you observe so then after the six is followed by the total input samples like space separated input sample abc is one dna sample two second dna sample third fourth fifth sixth and finally the it contains a new count to be com combined like uh, three is the input so what it means that three of these samples should be combined like three three samples like first three should be combined and then next three should be combined and then next in this way so if you observe the output definitely a b c f g h i so first three these are the three three samples are combined and new mutant is formed like uh, formed new dna mutant this is a uh, so we are just printing the new dna mutant and then a m n p r s t d e so this is the second uh, new mutant so it is printed explanation it is input content six dna samples so after get combining three each of the dna samples we get two new mutants so let me give you an example three so for example let's consider that uh, length of the uh, samples is 8 so samples are a b c d e f g h so these are the samples and the third input will be let's uh, consider that 4 now the output will be so comment the output in the comment section and now let's start the live coding of this code in python language length and now let's try to code with the right logic here in total there are three inputs as we have discussed so the output will be the dna mutants so the first input will be the length of the list so length will be in integer format so int of input then i am taking the list input i have used map function so map will be taking two arguments like the first will be the data type string data type and then input function input dot split so here within split i gave space so the list elements elements will be separated by spaces so then the third input is will be the integer which will be the number of samples to be combined to form a new output a new mutant and then comes the logic part so i have simply used the for loop where it will run from zero comma the length of the list so then the logic here is that if and if if only the t percentile i percentile t equals zero which means that after every for example if t equals two so after every two elements i have to print a space otherwise i don't uh, print a space like i'll be combining the samples so then print uh, print s of i so here the logic is very simple guys so if after every succeed t elements i will be printing a space else uh, i will not print uh, i will not print any space so else i can directly print the element of a list so you will get a clarity again after giving the input so six and then the list elements i gave the list elements 
and then finally two i gave the okay i forgot to mention that nd equals to l like uh, it is printing in a new line so i have to add a small part of code where nd equals to empty spaces empty inverted commas so now th we will get the right output so here that we got a perfect output like two elements are combined and then let me give you another example like a b c d f so in total i have i gave six dna samples so i want to three of these samples to be combined so now the output will be a b c the first three elements like uh, the first three dna samples are combined to give new mutant and next three in similar let me give 10 inputs like a 10 count of uh, dna samples so i want I want four of these samples to be combined, like four each samples to get a new variant. So four A, B, C, D will be printed and then space. So we are now at the second coding question. So which was asked in the latest Wipro slot. So this code is about order ID. So we are supposed to print the order ID given with a random string. Now let's uh, observe the question like a system converts a random number into the order ID. So by taking the sum of the extreme left and the right digits. If single digit remains uh, add zero to it so all we need to do is that like uh, first of all there will be an input so if we consider this input 4327 is the input and the output will be uh, generated in such a way that like clearly we can see the extreme left and extreme right positions are added like the extreme left position is a uh, 4 and extreme right 7 so 4 and 7 will be added we get 4 plus 7 as 11 and then extreme left is 3 and 2, 3 and 2 add, are added so we get 5 so directly we are combining 11 and 5 so 115 is the output so i hope you guys are, uh, have got a clarity after observing the example so if you are still confused confused let's observe the example 2 or sample input 2 now let's observe the sample input 2 so here is the input like uh, 1534276 is our input and we are supposed to generate the order id so i hope this will uh, give you complete clarity about the question so this is our input now we are supposed to generate the order ready so it is generated in such a way that extreme left and extreme right should be added so 1 and 6 are the extreme left and right respectively so 5 and 7 then 3 and 2 so finally if there is single digit is remained so we are supposed to add 0 to it 4 plus 0 which gives 4 so now adding those 1 and 6 gives us 7 and 5 and 7 we get 12 3 plus 2 5 4 plus 0 4 so directly printing this like 712 is your output so i hope you guys got a clarity and if you are not a subscriber yet uh, subscribe to our channel for all kinds of uh, content like aptitude logical reasoning verbal ability pseudo code questions and programming questions definitely it will be helpful for you and uh, let's start coding it in the python language and here comes the second code so the only input will be the string input and let's take it as input s equals to input and then i'm finding the length of the input s and storing it in l so then we shall i mean i'm declaring the output variable as an empty string so finally we will be storing the output in that variable and the logic is very simple guys we shall run a for loop from zeroth index to till the middle of the string like uh, only half of the string we will be running the loop so it's because we are going to use the negative index concept here negative index of a string so you know how to access the file uh, rightmost elements like uh, rightmost characters so simply i am adding the leftmost in uh, leftmost element and the rightmost element so here like a string of and then storing it as a string so here you, you can see this like int of s of i plus int of s of minus i because s of i will be the index so s of 0 plus s of minus 1 it will be and here the only exception case will be if the length of the string will be odd number the middlemost element will be left single so we are supposed to add 0 to it so i am directly adding like appending input or output plus s of middlemost character so sorry here i plus 1 should be because uh, for uh, in order to access the rightmost element like uh, we have to use s of minus 1 it starts from s of minus 1 s of minus 0 is invalid so now the code is perfect i think 
so let me give a sample out input 4327 okay sorry i forgot to print the output let's print it print output sorry print output variable print output 4327 so 115 4 plus 7 will be 11 and then 3 plus 2 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 it will be printing 663 5 plus 1 2 plus 4 and 3 similarly you can check with any input so i'll also be pasting the code in the description i hope uh, you guys have understood both these codes thank you for watching